how to sort numbers based on their decreasing frequency. Welcome to Programming Corner. In this episode, we will look at how sorting can be applied to arrange numbers not based on value but based on their frequency of occurrence. Let's say you are given numbers in random order 4, 1, 1, 4, 2, 1 here. We need to order based on decreasing frequency. That is, 1 is with the max frequency that is 3, 4 is with frequency of 2 and number 2 with frequency 1. So sorting order should be 1, 1, 1, 4, 4 and 2. We will start with brute force approach. Optimize it with sort based approach followed by python code walkthrough. If you think of basic approach, it can be divided into two steps. First, count frequency of numbers and make a table out of it. Second, iteratively scan for the number with highest frequency that is not considered yet. With our initial example of numbers 411, 421, we can create a frequency table. After that, we look for the number with highest frequency. Here it's 1, so we print 1 that number of times. Next, we look for the number with second highest frequency. Here it's 4. It would be followed by the number 2. Let's analyze the time complexity for this approach. If we maintain hash table to maintain the frequency of numbers, the time complexity would be order of n because we will have to scan the list only once. Now for the second step to look for the highest frequency not considered yet, in worst case we will have to scan the list every in every iteration. So for n numbers it would be n cross n that is order of n square. So in total the worst case complexity would be order of n square. Now can we do better than this? Imagine we had a black box algorithm to sort the row based on frequency in descending order with complexity less than order of n square. Then we can iterate the rows only once and keep them printing. The idea is to sort frequency table based on values. We can modify classic sorting algorithms like merge sort, quick sort, etc. to sort based on value. If we use quick sort, the average runtime complexity will be order of n log n. Now the steps would be in the following way. First we sort and count the frequency of numbers. Then we sort the frequency table using quick sort in descending order. After that we will have to iterate table items and print them in single pass. As you can see after sorting the table we will have first entry with highest number of frequency. In here it's 1. So we print 1 thrice. Next we move to the second entry with the second highest num frequency. In here it's 4 followed by number 2. Let's analyze the runtime complexity of this approach. The sorting method takes n log n runtime complexity and after the data is sorted we will have to scan Let's the table the Python one. implementation of this approach. In here in main method I am performing three steps. First generating frequency table. Second sorting the frequency table with custom comparator. We will look at that comparator shortly. And finally, I am iterating through the table and printing numbers with that frequency number of times. In my generate frequency table method, I am sorting the input number first. Python sort method uses theme sort, which has runtime complexity of n log n. Next, I am creating a frequency table and populating first row with first number and frequency of 1. After that, I am iterating remaining sorted numbers. At this point we will have two cases. If the current number that we are iterating is equal to the previous number, then I increment the frequency of the current row. If the current number doesn't match, then we are now at the new number in sorted list. So like before, we need to create a new row for a table having entry of new number and frequency of 1. Finally, I return the frequency table. Next. We need to sort number or uh, rows in a frequency table basically based on the frequency value. So we need a custom comparator to compare two rows based on frequency value. The function frequency table compare 
compares frequency of two rows. If first row has lower frequency than the second one, in here it would mean first row is greater than the second row because we want to have higher frequency first. So we return 1. Basically sorting is in reverse order. Like this video if you found the discussion interesting, comment down your thoughts, subscribe to our channel for more interesting computer science talks.